everyone! Today I'm going to show you another tutorial on how you can make the flower centers without using a Silhouette Cameo or a Cricut machine to cut um, your centers. And so um, I did talk about fringe centers before, but this, this way you could just use an X-Acto knife and a ruler to create the center that you want. And so what I have here is a cutting mat. You don't particularly need one, but I do have a ruler a pen and an X-Acto knife. You can use one of those rotary cutters that you just press. The ones that look like um, whatever cuts a slice of pizza. But uh, what I have drawn here is I've lined up this 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper on this mat and I've given it a half inch margin on each side. So that's the line that's drawn. And what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take some washi tape here and I'm going to just tape the sides together, uh, the sides down, I mean, so that they don't move. But I have lined it up along that grid. I like washi tape too because it's clear, so you can still see underneath it doesn't block. You could use scotch tape or something like that, but um, washi tape comes off pretty clean off of paper, so I really like using that. And that just holds the piece of paper down so it doesn't move while I'm cutting. Even if the mat moves or um, something shifts. So essentially, um, with this mat, I'm not sure what the different brands out there have, but th these are quarter inch marks. And so, simply all you need to do, since this is 11 inches um, wide, at least the way that I have it, I can cut a line along every mark, every quarter inch mark. So I'll just take this X-Acto knife and just press firmly to give it that cut line all the way up to about that line. You can also use the washi tape as a marker for where you want to stop cutting if that's what you want. But this can be turned over inside out and so the lines can be hidden. Essentially you do that for the entire piece of paper. And it is a little bit tedious, but if you are just making a project really quickly for a quick birthday party or a bridal shower and you don't need a machine, then this is one way you could still achieve the same look without having to spend the money. Now, these are quarter inch marks. If you want something a little more fine, um, you can you can measure in between these, these quarter inch lines or you can just eyeball it somewhere about halfway. If you are doing the eyeball method, I would suggest that you line up um, the ruler or whatever you're using with the mat about halfway and then making that cut. Right. So, the way that I did it actually didn't end up very um, even, but if you have a clear ruler, it works better. Um, but you'll get better at it, and one thing is that you do not need to be perfect. These lines do not need to be perfect in any way. Um, as long as they're even enough, I would say that you are good to go. You can still make really nice flower centers. If you don't want to do the eighth, eight inch cuts, an eighth of an inch cut, sorry, then you could just stick with the one fourth. So I'm going to complete this entire um, sheet really quickly. Now that I've cut the lines across the entire page, I can now take it off and then use it to make um, the flower centers. And one of the good things about having a mat and having the washi tape um, hold the pieces of paper is that you can do more than one if you need to. If you want to press really hard, you can go to the sheet underneath. Oops, sorry. You can go to the sheet underneath. And um, 
you just simply take off the piece of paper, uh, the piece of washi tape, and then simply fold in the sheet to cover up that line that you drew, and then use it like a regular center. So, so if I wanted to, then I could just glue, add glue here, like that, and then just glue it. together and then you can use this in any way that you like. You just twist it then you have a perfect center for your flowers. So you don't have to do entire sheet. You can cut the sheet down if this is too tall for your flower. But essentially, you get the same look without having to purchase any expensive machine. And it looks just as great. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions below.